Hi, Owen Davis here from Leafield Real Estate. Again, uh, thank you for joining us. I'm here with another interview with David Clooning, a mortgage broker. Thank you, David. Thank you, Owen. Um, and David, tell us a bit about yourself, your experience, history, and yep. um, and um, working with with uh, investors and so on. No problem. We've got an hour, have we? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, look, I've been a finance broker for about uh, 12 years now, but have been in, in finance for about 30 years. Um, prior to being a broker, I was with Westpac uh, for about 12 years and then got uh, headhunted by the Hong Kong Bank, HSBC, in the early 90s when the, regular, the industry was uh, regulated by deregulated, I should say, by um, Paul Keating. So I went and worked with HSBC for about uh, five, six years and helped set that um, organisation up here in Australia with branches throughout uh, Melbourne, Sydney, Brisbane, Adelaide, Perth. Um, look, I left banking at that point in time uh, for various reasons. I'd been in it for about 15, 16 years. And after that, I then had various roles, which, I, which you know, um, mainly marketing roles, actually. So my background really is marketing. Um, and finance, but I then drifted into the property area. So I was doing a lot of um, seed capital uh, funding for organisations that were basically building uh, developments, um, and uh, did that for about two or three years. And then I, I, um, I basically then, um, um, uh, yeah, I, look, I drifted back into broking because right. I, I was starting to do a bit of property okay. development myself, and as a result of that. Finance came back into my life, and right. so I, I felt that that was finance broking and helping, uh, helping individuals, couples, families, small business owners uh, with all that was. So uh, yeah, was in good. short, sounds like you uh, know what you're doing, and you got the experience. Oh, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> you got plenty of experience. Yeah. Um, and where where do you see the the uh, the market at the moment, especially with investors? What's happening? Yeah, look, as, as you've read in the media, the pop, you know, the market's really tough on a couple of fronts. The property pricing has come down uh, as it had to. Yep. Um, the, the, the increase in property values in the last five years was astronomical and probably the, the fastest increase I've ever seen in my time. Um, you know, some properties were doubling in price in three and four years mm. in some areas, particularly in the Melbourne and Sydney markets, which are the larger two markets. Um, and so property prices have had a correction and, and have come down uh, probably around about 10, 11, 12 percent in those two markets um, and, 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 and probably smaller reductions in the, in the lesser, smaller markets of Adelaide and Brisbane. Um, so look, it's, so the property prices have come down. On the back of that, we also have a credit squeeze at the moment with the, the banks. We've just finished with the Royal Commission, um, but the credit squeeze was really on before the yeah, Royal Commission. Yeah, it, it was. And, um, and uh, from your you know, vast experience, as you just uh, explained to us, well, how bad was it in comparison to past ones that you've gone through? Yeah, look, it's probably the GFC time was the, the last time that we probably had the foot on the brake with finance. Um, and even property, you'll see the, the drop of property this time around is greater than the drop mm. in property during the GFC. And that, that's driven by the fact that property growth was so mm. so large so quick. But the lending, yeah, look, it's tight. It's yeah. tight. And the government's tried to slow it down through regulation. Uh, the banking industry is now heavily regulated by the government um, in terms of, uh, and that flows on to borrow policy, what the banks will do in, in lending. Um, you know, the, the, one of the biggest changes has been uh, individuals' living expenses. Yes. And unfortunately, there's been a little bit of shadow boxing there because the banks have had a reaction, in my opinion, that um, they've gone a little bit too far with living expenses. And frankly, the living expenses alone are creating uh, in the industry what we call mortgage prisoners. So mm -hmm. what a pr person who in the past would be able to refinance from one bank to another and get a, a, a reduced rate. Um, you know, I've, had, I've got examples of clients who are currently on 4.6, 4.7 for their owner occupied loans, um, trying to get them down to 3.6, 3.7, but you can't move them because the living expenses now being deemed uh, and being formulated by the banks mm. Uh, killing the deals and we, we can't do the refinance. So they don't even qualify for the loan they got? They don't qualify for the loan they've got under current policies, which, which is a real concern. So where do you see it going for the rest of the the, uh, the year? Look, we've got an election in a two weeks' time, or a little, a little over a week's time. Um, whether Labor or Liberal get in, uh, either one, obviously, but... Um, 
I think we've got to get past that. There's there's a lot of instability at the moment and uncertainty. Consumer confidence is very low. Mm. Um, and I know we spoke about inflation um, and we've spoken about um, unemployment before this interview. And, and look, they're still in it. They're quite strong, but I think it's consumer confidence is the problem. So once the election settles down, um, we get through winter, um, we start to move into that spring period. I think you'll start to see a bit more activity uh, in the marketplace, mm. particularly with properties. I think you know the, the forecasters are saying that properties will probably come off one or two percent this year, but they'll start, it'll start to bounce back in 2020, and then in 2021 you'll see property prices starting to climb back up again. So um, for the rest of this year, I think there still will be a little bit of consolidation. I think. Um, that people will still have to continue to look at their own personal budgets, which they should anyway, mm. um, but there'll be that continued um, pressure by the banks to ensure mm. that you're, you're um, financially responsible for your, for your um, debt and, um, and for your own home loans and, and, and business loans. And um, yes, yeah, so I think it'll still be a period of consolidation right. uh, for the rest of this year mm-hmm. until we uh, head into next year. Yeah. All right, so it's... Um a little bit of uh, more pain uh, for the short term, yeah. but uh, it's not the end of the world. No, it's not. Yeah, uh, you've, you've seen this happen a number of times where um, it's just another part of the cycle. Correct. It's, yeah. That's the word. It's a cycle. Um, uh, you know, as property, uh, I always go back to property um, prices. They, that, uh, nothing's more so in cycle than property prices. And as we've seen, they've gone up over the last 50 years. They've gone down, but slowly it'll uh, increase. The other thing is the wages. You know, wages have been going up. For, uh, for a number of years, but they haven't. In the last two years, wages have come to a standstill and that's putting pressure on consumers. And I think the other thing that, I, you know, in terms of living expenses, yep. the, the cost of electricity and petrol and things like that are starting to bite a little bit now mm. that wages are, uh, have stagnated. So again, con- period of consolidation. And I think next year, the, the credit squeeze we're currently experiencing with the banks will ease and um, lending may become a little bit easier. Um, as a finance broker, I'm hoping that's the case. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, on that note, um, thank you, David, for your you. uh, contribution and insights. Thank you. And, uh, yes, if you're listening to us on the podcast or watching on, on any of the other platforms, please reach out to us with any further questions or, um, or topics you'd like to hear from us in the future. Thanks. Bye. Thank you.